The unique thing about the July 2019 LSAT is that this is the only time in LSAT history that LSAC has ever let you see your LSAT score before deciding whether you want to cancel. Up to this point, it's always been you cancel within six calendar days of the exam and you never know what your score would have been. And this is problematic, of course, because sometimes people cancel scores that they might have otherwise been happy with had they known what the score would be because people aren't always great at predicting or estimating things under conditions of such great uncertainty. But July 2019, that's changing. Just for that test administration, they will allow this. This is a one-time opportunity. And the reason they say they're doing this is because of the transition to the digital LSAT. They want to pave the way a little bit and make the July 2019 LSAT a little bit more appealing than it would otherwise be. Because that is the first LSAT where most or at least many of the people will be taking the LSAT in the digital format. More specifically, half of all test takers for that administration will be assigned the digital format on a tablet. The other half will be assigned the paper and pencil option. They choose for you, which is obviously kind of a scary thing, and I really wish they weren't doing it that way because the ambiguity is kind of troubling and not being able to choose for yourself is also kind of troubling. So for that reason, I recommend anyone watching this in the near future, try to get the LSAT out of the way before July 2019. You have three remaining opportunities at the moment to take the LSAT guaranteed on the paper and pencil format. Those are the January, March, and June 2019 LSATs. You take one of those, it's definitely paper and pencil. July 2019, it's a 50-50 shot whether you'll be assigned the paper and pencil format or the digital format. Again, they choose it for you, and the amb ambiguity is somewhat troubling. If you do end up taking the digital LSAT, that's okay, though. There will be plenty of LSAT materials, both from LSAC and other test prep providers, available between now and then. LSAC says they're going to put some out before the end of 2019. We'll see, but either way, of course, then you can maximize your prep in the online or digital or tablet format, whatever you might choose. The option to cancel, to see your score before canceling on the July 2019 LSAT isn't really as valuable as you might think. Of course, it'll give you peace of mind, but law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores. Even the ones that say they do or say they consider multiple scores they don't. They have absolutely no reason to do this because law schools are ranked only on the highest LSAT scores submitted by applicants, along with, of course, GPA, extracurriculars, etc., personal statement. But your highest LSAT score is the one they care about. That's how their schools are ranked, and law school admission officers' jobs are all based around the rankings. Their job security is based on getting their school the highest ranking possible, which means considering the highest LSAT score of the applicants who are considering their schools. So for that reason, don't worry about having multiple scores on your record. I wouldn't place any extra importance on the opportunity to see your score before canceling on the July LSAT. You should, in fact, almost never cancel your LSAT score unless something went terribly, terribly wrong on LSAT test day. I'm talking a big disaster like a fire alarm goes off or the person behind you pukes on you or the proctors totally screw up the timing, something like that. But canceling your score, it's almost more of like an archaic option or a vestigial option that no longer really applies given that law schools don't average multiple LSAT scores. So don't worry about it. Whether you're taking the LSAT in the digital format or the paper and pencil, whether you're taking in July 2019 or not, all the best to you. Please feel free to reach out if you need anything at all. I love hearing from students and I'm happy to help however I can. All the best.